I think that monogamous people have a lot to learn from polyamorous people in terms of uh, bringing conscious intent into designing the relationship to suit what you actually want and need. Because monogamous people have a societal script that they follow, you know, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes baby in a baby carriage, um, I think a lot of them don't really question whether that would actually make them happy. Um, whereas in polyamorous relationships, because we're already stepping outside the norm, we don't have a script to follow, and so we write our own script, and we design and tailor the relationship to, like, what actually makes us feel happy and fulfilled. And I think that monogamous people would really be happier if they did more of that. And you don't have to practice polyamory to do that at all. You know, I think that um, these kind of communication skills and like that kind of self-reflection and self-awareness of like what you really want out of life and um, you know whether you're doing the things that actually make you happy or if you're just doing what everyone else is doing right I think like that level of awareness is something that polyamorous people uh, are much better at you know uh, practicing than monogamous people on a general level mm -hmm.